we are excited to announce the addition of one of our most requested features, decals. You'll find the new decal feature in the Part Studio toolbar. To insert a decal, first import the image into a document. Then select Decal from the toolbar and select the face where you want your decal. The decal is automatically placed at the center of the face, but can easily be moved by selecting either one of the location references or by dragging the manipulator. Decals appear in Part Studios, Assemblies, and Shaded Drawing Views. It can be useful for inserting company logos like you see here, or can also be used for warning or hazard labels. You will find a powerful new offset curve feature in the Part Studio toolbar. This new feature allows you to create an offset curve relative to an edge that lies on a face. This is useful in a number of different applications. For example, here I have a recessed cut that follows an offset of the shape of this part. Creating this using offset curve is simple. Select all the edges that I want to offset, set a distance and offset type, and you will see a new curve is created that can be used for a sweep. This would have required several steps in the past. Another example is offsetting a curve to use in a curve-driven pattern. Here, I'll create an offset curve following the edge where these two faces transition, and with the post-processing options, I can adjust the start and end of the curve for situations just like this. And it makes creating curve patterns like this one easy. If you use a lot of branches, you know that the versions in History Flyout can get very busy. We recently introduced the ability to search the history, making it easier to navigate and with this update, we're taking it one step further with a new option to filter by branch. In the versions in history, next to search, you will see a new filter option. If you click the new filter icon, you will see three options. Show all branches, the default. Show all branches with workspaces, which filters out all branches that have been terminated and are no longer in use. And finally, show current branch, which filters the versions in history to only show the branch that you're in. When using the derived feature, it's common to insert sketches, planes, make connectors, and more to use as a reference for new geometry. However, in the past, these features could not be hidden individually. You could only hide or show the entire derived feature. That is no longer the case. Now, when you use derived, you will see you can expand the derived and hide and show the individual entities inserted in that derived. You can now access display states when sharing with view-only permissions. Useful when you want to share an assembly and give them an easy way to dissect. In the view-only toolbar, you'll see the new option for display states. Custom properties can now be reordered. This can be useful if you have a long list of custom properties and you want to move the most important properties to the top of that list. In your company settings, under properties, you will see a new option to reorder. Click Reorder, then drag and drop the properties in the order you would like. You can now create section views and aligned section views from detail views and on-shape drawings. This highly requested feature gives you much more flexibility and choices for section view references. When exporting an inspection table to CSV, you will see a new option in the Export dialog under Format for drawing definition list. This new option gives you an easy way to export all drawing dimensions to CSV quickly. Thanks for watching. Click the logo to subscribe or see some of our other videos linked here.